I got into guitar. Uh, I was about 10 years old, I think, is when I first picked it up. Um, kind of as a hobby growing up. I didn't get really into it until I was about, I don't know, in my early teens, about 14 or so. And um, just kind of played it as a hobby. Wanted to be a guitar player. Just kind of did it as a, as, a, as fun. And if you want to have fun tonight, grab a six string, hit the gas, let's ride. Down here we do all right, living day by day, night by night. When you come out to a JKB show, you can expect to see lots of high energy and people loving what they do. You know, we put everything that we've got into the music that we play. You can expect to hear lots of good music by some of the best musicians you can find in this area. like Brooks and Dunn and um, Keith Whitley, George Strait, uh, Dad used to listen to Mo Haggard all the time, it's one of his heroes. And, um, but it's not just country, I mean I was into rock, like Metallica, I used to listen to them religiously growing up, I was a wannabe elite guitar player and a rock band growing up. One is getting to connect with fans and making new fans, and the second thing is getting to see how my music touches people. You know, having a crowd sing your song back to you, or you know, seeing people's hands in the air, just seeing how people react when you play your music is probably one of the best feelings in the world. And just playing in front of people and getting to meet them after the show and hang out with them and and hear their stories or hear why my song touched them is it's a really humbling thing. I'm still trying to find my way. We've got any rituals that we do, but we do try our best to, to pray before each show. And you know, we always try to find a Whataburger or a Waffle House on our way home. Well, I've lived life on the edge.